after you have determined the bearing stress acting on the pad foundations to be less than the bearing capacity of the soil, you know that the provided size of the foundations is adequate. Your next step is to design for the moment resistance of the pad footing. To do so, you need to first determine the stress acting on the pad footing. For the design of the moment resistance, you have to consider for the ultimate limit state. Therefore, the Asia loops generated by the column will need to be multiplied with the factor of safety of 1.35 and 1.5 for GK and QK respectively. Based on the calculations, you obtain the uniform stress of 237.6 kN per meter square. Since there is no moment acting on the pad footing, you will expect a uniform bearing pressures acting on the pad footing. Next, you need to determine the moment acting at the column face. Since that the section now is a square section, you do not need to design for both X and YY directions. The moment will be identical and the amount non reinforcement bar will be identical. As this spreadsheet is developed in a generic manner, which is also applicable for rectangular sections, the step here shows the calculations for both directions. You know that for the square foundations, the more critical plan it will be at the dy which is shorter. That means the transverse locations of the reinforcement bar. The dy here is calculated by the height of the foundations minus the nominal cover minus 1.5 times the bar size. That gives you 391 mm. You may design for the moment resistance based on the smaller d. Adopt these formulas for you to determine the amount of reinforcement bar, which after substitutions you get k equals to 0 0.038, z equals to 0.965d. You know that the z cannot be greater than 0.95d. Therefore, you will adopt z equals to 0.95d, which is equals to 371.5 mm. Adopt into the formula, you will get the amount of reinforcement bar required. You require 13 units of the y16 bar, which give you this amount of reinforcement bar. The provided amount of reinforcement bar area needs to be greater than the required. Next, you need to check for the minimum amount of reinforcement bar. Adopt into the formula, you will acquire the minimum amount of reinforcement bar here. The provided bar area is greater than the minimum amount of reinforcement bar it is considered acceptable. You may also check for the maximum amount of reinforcement bar, which is 0 0.04 times area of the concrete. The area of concrete is calculated by the B and H. The B is obtained as 2.5 meter as indicated here and the h is 450 your maximum areas of reinforcement bar is much greater than provided therefore it is considered acceptable next you will need to check for the shear resistance of the pad footing let us look at the shear at 1d critical shear plan you know that this is a uniformly distributed load acting on the pad foundations. 
The locations of 1D from the colon surface is determined by the D here. You can actually choose the smaller D for you to get the larger value of the shear load here. Taking the resultance of the shear stress generated by the soil bearing pressure to be multiplied with the area here which is this width half of the width of the base minus half of the column minus 1D that will be the width here to be multiplied with the width here which is 2500 your vertical shear due to 1D from column surface is about 411.6 now use these equations for you to check your shear resistance against the VED first find the K by using this formula substitute the D of a smaller D out of the section the K here will be less than 2.0 and you will use it as 1.72 next determine the area of reinforcement bar divided by BD this is the provided area of reinforcement bar the B here and D here refers to the critical plan of the shear plan of 1D from column surface therefore the B will be 2500 and the D will be the smaller D based on the calculation just now 391 substitute the K and row 1 into the function here you have shear resistance of 381.3 kN your minimum shear resistance is given by this formula Substitute the K value into the formula here, you get 3 at 5.9 kN. Your resistance will be the larger value of the two. Which is larger value of these two, you get 3 at 5.9 kN. Compare with the VED. You realize that your resistance is actually less than the load. That means the sections will fail in shear. To rectify this, you will need to increase the depth of the sections. You will have to go back and revise the height of the pad foundations, which is here. Let's say now you use 475mm. You will check again for the shear resistance. Now you find your shear resistance is greater than the shear load, therefore the shear will pass. It is merely pass. If you feel uncomfortable with that mere pass, you can actually increase further the depth of the pad foundations.